The South Korean government is aiming to lower the country's youth jobless rate by filling vacant spots at small and mid-sized companies. It's also encouraging companies to improve their maternity leave programs by offering incentives to get women back into the job market after having a baby. Here's Kim Min-ji with the details. The government is vowed to boost measures aimed at supporting youth employment. In an economy-related minister's meeting on Wednesday, Finance Minister Yu Ido said the government will expand on measures that complement policies unveiled in April aimed at supporting employment for young people and women. Among the measures, if young job seekers work at a small or medium-sized company for two years after an internship there and save 3 million won or roughly 2,600 U.S. dollars, the government and the firm will provide a combined bonus of over $7,700 as an incentive. The system will be expanded to cover five times as many people as initially announced. We will foster this program as one of our top priorities to get young people to work at SMEs and build up their assets. We'll expand the number of young job seekers that can enroll for the program to 50,000. The program aims to reduce the youth unemployment rate by encouraging young people to take jobs at SMEs. The youth jobless rate stood at 8.5 percent in October, the highest for that month in 17 years. In regards to boosting female employment, the government will include maternity leave when assessing performance for public institutions. Those that offer greater maternity protection to their female workers will be given incentives. Moving to the broader economy, the top economic policy makers cited a potential U.S. rate hike and uncertainties regarding the incoming Trump administration, as well as sliding local investment and spending in the wake of a political scandal as risks going forward. You said the government will implement fiscal measures, including the budget supplement, without delay in order to minimize risks in the job market and on other economic fronts. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.